This year, James Harden was crowned League MVP, and in honor of his achievement, Adidas released limited edition Harden Volume 2s. The pair I'm reviewing today is the LS, or Lifestyle variant, and features premium leather detailing and gold accents. This shoe is a departure from the standard performance version and focuses more on the comfort of the wearer than the ability to perform on court. It still maintains the full length boost midsole but switches out the standard upper for a more comfortable sock like mesh. What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler. Today I'm trying something a little bit different. But getting to the reason you guys actually clicked on this video, today I'm reviewing the Adidas MVP Harden Volume 2 LS. This sneaker released when James Harden was crowned NBA MVP about a week ago. Now for the first like 20 minutes the shoe was on the Adidas website, it said it was a James Harden Volume 3. To be honest, that's actually the reason why I bought the shoe because I thought that it was a Harden Volume 3. And then after I bought it, they changed the name to the Harden Volume 2 LS. And uh, now I have it. So that kind of sucked because I thought I was going to have the first look at the Harden Volume 3s, but uh, instead you guys get to look at the Harden Volume 2 LS, which is not as exciting. I really love how the colorway of this shoe matches James Harden's jersey. Is this Harden Volume 2 LS worthy of the MVP title? Let's find out. Right off the bat, when compared to the regular Volume 2, the Volume 2 LS definitely has a more laid back sort of sock-like aesthetic. It's definitely not a bad look, and I actually don't mind this colorway because it does seem like it will be pretty easy to wear. But as much as I don't mind the overall look of the shoe, I think I do actually prefer the Harden Volume 1 LS. Jumping right into the materials of the upper, the entire toe is covered in this sort of grayish blue mesh. I actually had to look on Adidas' website to see if this was prime knit because it does kind of feel like prime knit, however it's not, it's just regular mesh. Of course the material is soft and stretchy which is great. The one thing that kind of bums me out though is that the entire upper is actually lined with some sort of like really thick neoprene liner. So even though this shoe has a mesh upper, it is extremely hot to wear, which sucks. Moving back on the toe on the lateral side, you've got this black panel of tumbled leather. Debossed into the leather, you've got this gold text which I can only assume has something to do with James Harden's achievements. Um, I honestly have no idea what it means, but Good for him. If you're a James Harden fan and you know what these numbers mean, let me know in the comment section down below. Continuing up the shoe, you get to this black, really long sock-like ankle collar. I mean, the back half of the shoe really looks like a giant sock. There's just no way around it. Running down the center of the shoe, you've got this black tumbled leather pull tab. On the bottom of the pull tab, you've got Adidas's logo debossed in gold. And on the top of the pull tab, you've also got the MVP logo debossed in gold. Just above the pull tab, you've got this very Pharrell NMD style lacing system. The rope laces come in the same sort of grayish blue as the toe of the sneaker. At the end of the laces, you've got these gold metal aglets, which I think are a pretty nice touch. The lacing system is pretty messy and doesn't really do much to keep your foot in the shoe, but honestly, I really do like the way it looks. If you're a fan of the Pharrell NMDs, you're probably going to like these shoes as well. Continuing inside the shoe, you've got this white neoprene sock liner that wraps all the way around the inside of the sneaker. As I mentioned before, it definitely does get warm, so be aware of that. The insole of the sneaker comes in blue with black and gold text. The text is actually a couple of James Harden's notable achievements. It reads, California High School All-American, Arizona First Team All-American, Pac-10 Player of the Year, Oklahoma City Third Pick, Sixth Man of the Year, Houston MVP. And then rounding off the heel, you've got James Harden's logo in gold. As for fit, the MVP Harden Volume 2 does seem to fit true to size. As I mentioned before, the laces aren't really going to do anything for you. It's basically just a slip-on. So try and go true to size, or if you have to, maybe go down half a size. But honestly, if you have the opportunity, I would definitely suggest going true to size. Continuing back on the shoe, on the lateral side, you've got more of that tumbled black leather. The top of the leather panel with the lace eyelets actually flips around to show the unfinished side. That's actually a pretty nice premium feeling touch. And then moving around to the medial side, the flap is actually stitched onto the upper and doesn't flip over like the lateral side. Another subtle detail on the medial side is that there's actually these perforations that form the Adidas Three Stripes logo. Moving around to the back of the sneaker, the leather panel actually continues all the way around. The top of it actually loops over to form another pull tab. And then the last detail on the heel is this gold stitching that forms sort of an X logo. Moving down the shoe, you get to the black full-length boost midsole. Even though you've got a bunch of boosts in the midsole, because the outsole is 
is so stiff and provides so much structure, the midsole just isn't as comfortable as a pair of Ultra Boosts. It's not bad, it's definitely still soft, it's just not as cloud-like as some of the other Boost models. Finally, moving to the bottom of the sneaker, you've got this blue, black, and yellow marbled outsole. The traction pattern is a little bit different than your regular Harden Volume 2s. Instead of the standard skeletal, sort of organic traction pattern you have on the Performance Harden Volume 2s, you've got this sort of tiny brick pattern. It's nothing special, it's just different. Overall, the MVP Harden Volume 2 LS is kind of a okay sneaker. It's honestly nothing crazy special. If you're a Harden fan, great, this might be a great shoe for you. If you like the sort of Pharrell aesthetic, again, not a bad shoe for you. But for me, even though I like some of the premium materials that are used and I don't mind the overall silhouette, there's little things like the marbled outsole and like the sock-like ankle collar that just takes up most of the shoe that just kind of don't make me want this shoe that much. And at the $180 retail price point, there are definitely some other shoes that I'd prefer to have. But that pretty much wraps up the video for today. I'd love to know your thoughts on the MVP Harden Volume 2 LS and whether you're planning to grab a pair for yourself. Also, make sure to check out my Instagram and my IGTV at RealSethFowler. I actually did an IGTV exclusive unboxing of this sneaker. So if you guys want to see this unboxing or any of my upcoming unboxings or first impression videos, make sure to head on over to IGTV at RealSethFowler. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.